All right, this is Mill Spec Monkey, and we're here with... Hi, everybody. It's Philip with Sons of Liberty Gunworks. Uh, I wanted to talk to you first off about our new... Uh, our new six max caliber. Uh, what that is, it's a 350 legend case that has been necked down to six millimeter. Um, therefore, it, it still uses your standard AR-15 bolt. Uh, you do not have to switch out the bolt, so you can take your BCG out of your 556 gun, throw it right in, it'll be fine. Uh, the only changes are a barrel, of course, and you, you use 350 legend mags. Uh, we are working on getting 30 round 350 legend mags to you. Um, so people hear six millimeter, they want to think, well, what's the advantage? I've only already got six art, six five Brindles out there, you know, six GT, all the things. Well, we're getting some pretty impressive velocities that are all SAMI spec. Um, so for example, we went to our range day, uh, we had a 10.5 and we were pushing 58 grain VMAX uh, on an average of 29.50, uh, so 2,950 feet per second. That same projectile and a 14 and a half inch gun, we're getting anywhere from 32 to 3250. Um, that's seriously pushing uh, the envelope on a small frame gun. Uh, I have a 20 inch, and we're going to be coming with lengths of 20, 18, 16, and 14 and a half to start. Uh, loaded ammo is already available from BC Precision Ballistics. Uh, more brass is coming soon. OEM barrels are coming. You'll probably see this come out in full uppers first and then uh, full rifle builds afterwards. Nice. And say so the legend round is new to me. What would you say is kind of the design theory on that? Oh, yeah. So that's a, that's a good question. So the 350 Legend is a 35 caliber straight wall case. Um, it's really popular uh, for people who do hog hunting or they have to have a 30 caliber round because uh, they're restricted in the state that they're in. Um, it's a very hard hitting round and it's got a lot of good case capacity. So we take that same case capacity, uh, neck down to six millimeter. They've changed the geometry of the shoulder to help some of the feeding issues. Uh, and then we've got an absolute hammer uh, with anything from 55 grain up to 105 grain projectiles in a small frame AR. Cool. So fair to say it's a, a hunting specific round. Uh, it could be, um, it's also, <laughs> looking to applications in law enforcement. If you uh, say are a, uh, a DM guy who wants to use a smaller profile rifle, doesn't quite look like um, you're out there to, to be a sniper. Um, and so it gives you the same look of the rest of the guys in your, in your group without drawing too much attention. Um, there's potential for military applications for the same reason. Um, 80 grain uh, armor piercing projectiles are kind of in the works. So there's much more application than hunting. It's a, it's a, it could be the one do all ra uh, rifle that you're all looking for. Right. So, so it's more of a starting point and seeing where it goes. Yeah, we're maximizing the effectiveness of the small frame rifle. So we've also got a two stage trigger that the, we're working on. This is a pre-production 3D printed design. Um, you can see that we've got good take up in a wall and a final last push. I'll reset it. It's so like a again, very distinct uh, click. Yeah, it's, it's pre-production, like I said, so the final version will be much more clean. Uh, but you can see we've combined the straight with the curved geometry. Uh, this is also our broadsword set. I want to show you so you understand that a broadsword lower has more material here. And that's going to help putting your finger where it needs to be, whether you grip around or you thumb over. The intention is that this this uh, billet lower is is made specifically for precision uh, trigger pull. And then we also have a broadsword upper uh, on this rifle. The new broadsword upper can be used with the Sons of Liberty Gunworks M89 or L89. You can see we where we've we've changed the geometry from a forged to show that we've got our tabs right here. We still have our three essentially wedges that are counteracting on each other. Um, this has been tested the best way we can and we picked up my boss's uh, diesel truck with it. The only thing that snapped was the steel cable holding it and there was no separation from upper to rail. <laughs> so we, do the, we do the best we can with what we got. That's like a pretty serious starting point. <laughs> this is also a special gun I wanted to show you. This camo pattern was uh, 
was a collaboration between us and uh, Norarm Tactical. We'd been in contact with them and we made three rifles for them. Um, they came by and, and one of the great things is because of our staff and our, our guys up in the uh, Cerakote booth, they were able to match the colors exactly from the man's mouth that's an exact match. Um, this receiver set or this rifle, I also wanted to talk about our new um, SPR barrel is what we're calling it. This is a, a heavier profile barrel with a 1.7 twist. Uh, it's 4.16R stainless, 223 two, wild chamber with a three groove polygonal twist. We also have the 5 8 by 24 threads. Now I know that's going to bother some people because they say, well, I don't really need that. And we understand. Coming at it from an armorer's perspective though, um, we know that with a half 28 thread pitch, there's so little material that you can actually crush the crown with as little as 28 foot pounds of torque. Now that doesn't always happen, but it is possible. So when we beef up the end near the crown, it's the last most important thing before that projectile exits the barrel, we can limit the amount of damage that we do to that very important uh, piece of metal. Um, this is legitimately a step forward, I think, in, in barrel manufacturing because this precision barrel retails uh, for about $289. Now, if you know precision barrels, you know that's a lot cheaper, uh, it's half the, the cost of some blanks. Um, and I am legitimate getting, legitimately getting some sub MOA groups, uh, and it shoots everything from 55 grain to 77 grain sub MOA. So All of that dependent on quality of ammunition, position, and shooter, but this barrel's getting a lot of things done. Nice. So it sounds like one design aim is good bang for the buck? Absolutely. Huh. Yeah, the, the, that also carries with the, the, uh, the warranty that we have. Um, so if you're able to shoot the barrel out, it's in our best interest to keep you shooting. So we'll replace it, just like all our other parts. Another uh, addition to our lineup is this new L89 rail. It's a seven-sided M-lock. We had an end user that was interested in more space and, and more options for a rail. You can see that the rail uh, goes out farther, so this rail is going to be offered in uh, increments that are three quarters or 0.75, so 10.75, 13.75. Um, this offers the, the end user a lot more options on how things mount, especially on short guns where you kind of have to move things around. Uh, otherwise, we've got two QDs that are built in that are added to give, again, more options on real estate. And then finally, I'd like to show you our new angle QD. Um, this was made, again, at the request of an end user to instead of have, uh, so they're running enablers on top and they need just a little space uh, to get that QD slot at a different angle for their end use. So is it built into the rail or a no, modular no, no. This M-lock? Is, uh, this is removal. You can move this anywhere on your M-lock. You can turn it over. This can mount any to any M-lock rail, not just ours. Nice. And that's available online as well. And it looks like generally the main perks is you got M locks on the 45 degrees, and uh, looks like it's a little more generous for suppressors. It is. Um, I'm not sure that it's big enough to put a suppressor underneath, unless you're running something like a 22. But it's 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 a very robust, strong rail. Uh, we've had some independent testing uh, with very little to no flex because of its construction. Those of you who are interested in our large frame offerings, this is the Gen 2 Mark 10. We have built-in Arca rail that's available. You can also get it slick. Uh, we've Again, we've uh, changed geometry, and so we've got a lot more surface area that the rail's connecting with, put in the built-in QDs. Uh, we've, we've changed up some of our internal parts uh, to make things a little easier for us as armors. Again, this can be available with our two-stage trigger, and it comes uh, stock, as it were, with the or with the uh, bolt release. So that's all that's new coming from Sons of Liberty Gunworks. As always, if you need any help, uh, hit us up on the website. You can go uh, to any of our dealers to find our stuff. Uh, we're available on places like RSR. 
Uh, if you have any questions, you can always contact us. We're always available. Thanks for watching. We're out. If you like this video and want to support us, check out the Millspec Monkey Store. Although known for morale patches, we also specialize in a good selection of DIY hardware and tactical accessories.